Hey guys, welcome back to House Plant Stream. Today I'm going to show you all my handing plants in the pergola area. Um, this is an update from what I've done from 2017, so now it's August 2018. You can see lots of changes around here. We'll start with the right hand side where I've got some um, fern. This is a type of hair foot fern and down here there's a beautiful edge vera that is flowering at the moment and some air plants that is attached to the metal fish and he is a succulent that is growing out of the stem that was left in the pot and down here we have a lipstick plant that is in recovery hopefully it'll come back and over here is a mosquito catching plant i can't exactly remember this particular type's name um but yeah they've got the pouch and they uh, catch insects and over here is a jungle cactus that is growing quite rapidly with lots of new growth on at the tip and moving on up here, I have a beautiful Federation Daisy that is pink. And below is a purple pansy. It's a winter flower. And right next to it is a variegated glanchoma that hands really well. Has long stems. And down here is a Mm, a strain of bananas that's propagating and some jade plant in a watering can and moving on to here is the goldfish plant that is always doing well you can see the beautiful little flowers coming up um, below is a spider plant that is sending out lots of pups and mixed with some peperomia that I was propagating and there's more goldfish plant down here another goldfish plant that I just propagated from the mother plant last year and a white pansy pansies are so beautiful in winter time um, it just gives you a sense of hope I guess <laughs> And up here I have some yellow daisies. They're the ones that actually has some purplish rim inside their flowers. That is gorgeous. Yep. And over here some sedum that is doing really well. Plus a string of banana. There you go. And moving on to this side, there is some pig face, um, succulent and more sedum. So this one's really easy to propagate and you just pretty much chuck it in the soil and then it goes like crazy. And over here some Spanish moss, old man's beard. It's like a curtain over here. <laughs> and a little spider plant with lots of um, little succulents babies they, ju they just all propagated from leaflets and down here I have more jungle cactus different types there's two and, and this one called an anthe. yes it hasn't flowered yet but it's just surviving and down here I have lots of rosemary that are just propagating and some uh, fig plants a peperomia and geranium so this is basically and this is pig face they're just all propagating in this little corner um, up here uh, there's a chalk stick plant it's a succulent and this is a tray of succulents echeveras and a variegated jade plant 
And this one, I can't remember the name, but it's a flowering, creeping type. Eventually it'll flower, probably in warmer month. And here I have a beautiful red pansy. So I've got three pansies. It's a violet, white and red. This one's really gorgeous. And here is more Echeveria. This one's doing really well in this position. I might move on this slightly to this side. And lots of babies too. And here's another sedum plus some other type of succulent from the garden. And over here is another glanchoma. Um, this one's just slowly growing as well. Beautiful. And over here I have this hanger. There's two tiers. And top tier you have some peperomia. Just the jade peperomia. They're really easy to maintain. And here is a type of cactus. And I can show you the little baby that it's pumping out right now. It's down there, if you can see. There you go. And this one actually flowers, has beautiful pink flowers. Um, hopefully I'll get to capture that again. And up here is a string of bananas in a sugar jar. It's getting rid of lawn as well. And here's my elephant planter. The lighting is horrible, but it is a beautiful planter with different succulents and some peperomia that I put in. And the last two up there, there's another Echeveria and Here's a long string of bananas. And there you have it. And I hope you've enjoyed this tool. And I'll see you next time.